second video after I made my first video I was pretty open to suggestions about what the second video should be about one of my fans suggested hey you should do it on local talent fortunately there's a good number of people that I've worked with or hope to work with in the future and um, either way I'm gonna go through a couple of them right now FC is a local rapper working out of the Nogales Rio Rico area he's working on a mixtape right now and I've done a couple beats for him in the past just waiting to see what I'll do with him so this is it, I've been love sick, but not having just a little bit Suicidal thoughts on my mind, a rhythm it Yes, it's dash trick, but on my mind just a tiny bit Too much, I've been dying Protocol is also a local rapper in the same area And he's also a freelance producer, so if any of you kids out there need beats I implore you to go see him first before you ask me and get some strange electronic monstrosity that you can't really rap over. His stuff is absolutely legit and he's very professional. Just check him out, he's great. They telling me that I cannot take it, no for the morning, no more breaking. I'm just trying to make my dream a reality, but they will take it. Before now, I'm just gonna hit these hard knocks. No hope is pretty, how would you really need these hard blocks? Pedro Agustin is more like a singer-songwriter. I've made a beat for him before, and he's an extremely classy gentleman, one of the best multilingual singers that I've heard, and I'm excited to see what he does with it. Recently I worked with AFM just to knock out a dubstep mini mix. It turned out great and I'm looking forward to working with them in the future. Get it up! my really good friends from high school plays bass in Johnny, Arizona. Because of that, I feel that spooky fraternal connection with them, and I wish them only the best. Right now, they're working on getting uh, their demo copyrighted and fully out there, but definitely keep your eyes on them, because they're going to be big. Bound Astoria is repping the Tucson local music scene with some gnarly technical deathcore. I found that it's easier for me to relate to really heavy music just because that's that's what I listen to in my free time, and that's, that's what I grew up to. Bound Astoria, I wish you the best as well. to the shout out section of the video. Before it started the second video, I did the whole like my status thing again, and it turns out that a lot more people ended up liking these statuses more than the first video. So, previously I had said, hey, only five people are gonna get mentioned, but it's kinda lame, so I upped it a little bit. And again, if your name isn't mentioned, it's not because I hate you. It's really not because I hate you. I'm being serious. I love everybody. Almost everybody. Sorta. Of. If you absolutely want me to mention you in one of my videos, do me the favor and help me out. Share my music, share my page, share my videos. Do whatever. Every little bit helps. Ricky is a classy guitar man. I know that once he moves on from the life past high school, there's gonna be bands out there looking for musicians exactly like him. Steph, you happen to be one of the few creatures that I know of whose being consists solely of positive energy. This one's a more different Ricky, but when I think back to my high school days of this Ricky, I cannot think of one moment where he wasn't smiling. 
that's tough for a lot of human beings and I admire him for that. A couple years back I had the pleasure of being in an exchange student program in Germany. Most of my best memories had to do with this man, Michael McNally, especially when it involved going into a very crowded place and loudly cursing in Spanish. Alex, I'm a man of my word and because you helped me get to 650 likes, this is my boa. Anyways, Ashley, you are a wonderful person, but you have to realize that the flow is not your enemy. Go with the flow. Fraunfelter, you're just a cool kid. You're a cool kid. No, it's not a lame shout out. You're just a cool kid. That is you at your very essence. April, one day, I'm gonna DJ a party that you're at. And if you don't go insane, I'm gonna be sad. But also, you're one of the most dedicated musicians that I've known. I remember that at one point, everyone started calling you Horace. And I was confused because I didn't know if they meant Horace or Horace. You know, the falcon god of sky and war and ancient Egyptian polytheistic religion. Either way, buddy, you're my falcon god. Right then. If you have any more ideas or suggestions about what you would want to see in the third video, be sure to let me know or else I'm just going to pull something random out of my ass. Which, you know, I can dig it, but I want to hear from you. Till then, cheers.